So Valentine's Day is coming up and you want to surprise your missus with something nice. So you book a hotel somewhere on the ocean side. But usually there is specific things that men care a little bit more than others. And that's something to do with electronics and specifically hotel TVs. So I want to make a video about uh, how to bring your movie collection to your hotel rooms so you can be 100% sure that your movie collection will be working on your TV. So we're going to go through different options, what we could bring with us so it's not too heavy because we could bring our NAS but it weighs a lot and those drives could be damaged on the transit. So we need to figure out something light, something effective, something that works in every case scenario. The worst case scenario could be that the TV is not smart TV, it doesn't have Wi-Fi, that the TV has HDMI port and we need a solution for this situation. So we're going to go through a few options what we could potentially connect to a TV that only has HDMI port. So I was thinking the simplest thing would be using my phone and connecting it directly to a TV. You can get um, either original uh, adapter from lightning port to HDMI or if you have Android phone you could have USB-C to HDMI. I bought a cheap five pound option which doesn't work. So if you want to buy official one it costs around $50 or 50 pounds. So I was thinking that's too expensive, I'm going to look for something else. Because also, if you connect your phone to a TV, if someone is calling you, texting you, you will be distracted uh, while watching your uh, movie. So we just gave up on that idea. So the second option I could hope for is that TV is somehow having USB ports, so you could have built-in media player, because then I could just have a pen drive or flash drive, plug it at the back of a TV, and watch those movies but there's always a risk that TV uh, compatibility is different than the one you have at home it might not play your um, files that normally work at home either it's too big the file or the file format is different so it's too risky so I'm not fully giving up on this idea I'm still gonna carry these just in case but I need a backup plan if your movie collection is bigger than normal you might have 4 terabyte SSD you could have a adapter like this that you connect SATA to uh, USB and then connect to a TV and have your collection available there for you. If you're curious about this adapter, I'll add the link uh, in the description. So then I was thinking maybe I could get HDMI uh, MI dongle with Android uh, TV operating system on it. But um, as I said, you need to rely on Wi-Fi, either on hotel Wi-Fi or if you want to share a hotspot on from your phone, uh, your data might be either slow or expensive. So that's not going to be an option. And then I was thinking maybe I could have a NAS with me. This is Unify UT2. This is basically a NAS. It has a LAN port, it has HDMI port, uh, got SD cards, got um, uh, USB ports you can create your own private network in your room if you wanted to. You can connect not just TV but uh, mobile devices and uh, other devices to this. This is a mobile NAS. It comes with NVMe storage in there so you have plenty of space to store your movies. So that could be a cool option but it's quite expensive and if it's uh, just a one trip you're not going to go and buy this thing online but it would be a cool option to have. If you're curious about this you can read about this in NAS Compares or I'll add the link in the description. And now we are getting closer to something very lightweight, very easy to use. And this is Android based uh, media player. It's like a mini computer kind of, but it's like a player. Uh, it has HDMI port, USB ports, uh, SD cards you can add. Um, and it's very light, very cheap. It costs around $20 you can get something like this. And um, you can connect your USB, what we were talking about previously, uh, and connect to your TV. You can also, if you don't like the remote which is included with this thing, you can have something like this. I'm going to add a link in the description. It's like a mouse, you can move around things, just basically sensitive. It detects how you move the remote. You can have a nice keyboard at the back and in other things. Uh, that's an option. Uh, the only concern is usually security because these kind of cheap Android boxes um, usually are stealing your data, but in a hotel situation, you 
don't care too much so it will be a good option but in your home environment you need to have a separate network for these because you do know where your data is being sent to that's a really good option but this is not going to be the solution i'm going to go for so this is what i'm going to go for this is something that doesn't look very nice but it's super light super small and super easy to use this is raspberry pi 5 but you can also get raspberry pi 4 or 3 uh, they cost the latest version which is raspberry pi cost around 50 dollars but uh, raspberry 4 you can get for like 30 dollars or cheap even cheaper why do i like this because there is no concerns about security i can use it uh, when i'm traveling i can use it at home and most importantly this is so easy to use and not only it's easy to use, it's so easy to convert this thing into so many different things. All you need to do is connect this uh, through HDMI to your TV or monitor, and then uh, it will ask you, what do you want this thing to be? So you can choose it to be Kodi Media Player. So you can connect your hard drives, you can connect your USB drives, you can connect your NAS, you can connect anything to it. Uh, and you can stream your movies not only from a NAS but also from the hard drives while connected to a TV. You can also connect a remote like this which costs less than $9 and you can use it for your mouse, for your keyboard and other things. Or you can connect your hard drives to it and now suddenly you have a lot of storage. If you don't want to have something like this connected externally you can simply use SD cards. Nowadays SD cards come with even one terabyte capacities. It's crazy what you get today. So if you wonder how to set it up, all you need to do is uh, connect USB cable to this thing, an HDMI cable and keyboard or mouse or one of these things. And then it's going to show you option. What do you want this to be? So you choose it to be Kodi player for our case. Otherwise you can turn this into open media vault NAS mobile phone or you can turn it into Android device like phone or tablet. In my previous videos, I was showing you how to turn a TV into touch screen. You can connect that uh, accessory to it and you can control this using touch, zooming in and out and stuff like that. You can also get adapters for this thing. If you don't want to use micro HDMI, you plug this in and you have normal HDMI and USB-C. So if you want to put this in a rack and have all these connections in the front, that's an accessory you can get for it. But basically, this small device will turn your hard drive into a media player. So what do you think? What's the best way to bring your movie collection with you when you're away somewhere where you can't connect to your NAS because the internet is either not available or is very slow? Is it going to be the same thing what I chose, a Raspberry Pi? Is it going to be something like this box, TV player? Or are you just simply going to go for USB or something else? Let me know in comments. Maybe there's something I didn't even think about. Otherwise, you can uh, follow the channel and you will see how I'm turning this Raspberry Pi into so many other things. I'm thinking to create a home, smart home solution. Uh, I want to play with Docker a little bit. I want to turn it into a smart photo frame and other things. So if you want to see those videos, you can just follow. Otherwise, see you next time.